dear brothers and sisters i welcome you all to hear and see this video message in this video i am going to explain food capits rights of indians that criminalization of our food habits content for this video i given in the description you can go through and study the cattle issue has become highly politicized in india with the ruling bharatiya janata party a hindu nationalist party trying to appeal to hindu voters by stirring up this issue a senior bjp leader created controversy when he said that all muslims in india should give up consuming beef since the bjp has come into power in many states they have toughened its cow slaughter bans to include other type of cattle like pulls and pullocks to the ire of many farmers but the, this is just politics the beef industry is not going to disappear any time soon in 2011 and 12 the latest data put out by nsso the well over the third of india states spend more on meat fish and eggs than they did on vegetables on the basis of monthly per capita expenditure the rural parts of at least 13 states including west bengal 131 rupees andhra pradesh 125 rupees and tamil nadu 110 rupees spend more on meat fish and eggs than what rural all india did on vegetables rupees 95 and if you consider urban expenditure some 14 states including kerala is 235 andhra 133 and tamil nadu 126 jammu and kashmir 128 rupees spend more than rupees 122 the all india urban monthly per capita spend on vegetables on non vegetarian food stuff in all these cities and states meat and fish coexist peacefully with the vegetarian fare so please don't tell citizen what to eat and what not to india is the world fifth largest beef eater and consumption has been rising steadily over the past few years muslims form the bulk of beef consumers according to the national sample survey office one of one out of the 13 indian currently eat beef or buffalo meat among the indian states with the highest beef consumption the northeastern state of meghalaya and coastal union territory of lakshadweep top the list around 40 percentage of indian muslims currently consume beef while among hindus it is a little less than 2 percentage over 26 percentage of indian christians eat the meat apart from muslims scheduled caste and scheduled tribes comprise the majority of beef eating population among hindus more than 70 percentage of the beef eating population is sc and st 21 percentage is other backward caste and only 7 percent is upper caste the largest beef and buff consuming state is not the muslim majority jammu and kashmir but meghalaya where more than 80 percentage of the population consumes this meat according to survey conducted by the register general of india in 2014 but so many mice about the vegetarian and non vegetarian divide in india a big surprise lies in the fact that the land of butter chicken is predominantly vegetarian there are 66.75% of vegetarians in punjab according to register general of india survey with marginally more women who have taken to vegetarian 68% than men that is 65.5% also surprising is that none of the south indian states figure in the list of vegetarian states which include rajasthan haryana gujarat madhya pradesh and punjab in fact telangana tops the list of non vegetarian states in the country with 98.7 percentage of the state being die hard meat and fish eaters karnataka has the highest population of vegetarians across south india at a paltry 21.1 percentage 
in Mizoram, beef remains the second most consumed meat after pork. The survey also suggested that the number of non vegetarian in India have dropped to 71 percentage in 2014 from 75 percentage in 2014. 2004. Beef eating is the part of citizen way of life, and Indian constitution has given the right of food to its citizens, which cannot be questioned. Nowhere in the constitution. It has been mentioned that beef eating is against the law or beef eating is neither wrong nor an offence by any angle. The right to eat the food of one's choice is an integral part of the right to life and liberty and the constitution mandates the state not to make law towards enforcement of a particular religious practice. Petitioners in Tamil Nadu had argued that the ban infringed their rights to choose what they eat. BJP Sangparivar trying to dictate the people on what to eat, what to wear and what to watch, which are individual rights of the citizens according to the constitution. It is horrible that people are being killed for eating beef. Union government and state governments must work for safeguarding the human rights of citizens instead of suppressing the rights. India is composed of a diverse array of ethnic groups and one of the main distinction between its people arises from difference in faith. About 80 percentage of Indians practice some brand of Hinduism, then the largest minority faith is Islam with about 14 percentage of the Indian populace identifying as Muslims. About 5 percentage of the population is composed of Sikhs, Jains, Jews, Christians, Buddhists and Saurashtrians. The remaining 1% is composed of those that either do not affiliate with any faith or practice a faith completely distinct from the above named. Typically, Hindus, Jains, Sikhs, Buddhists follow the same general diet with a distinction aversion for the consumption of most meat products, viewing the act of eating meat as a skin akin to committing violence. Many of these people are vegetarians and their faith emphasizes the honor of purity in diet. About 14 percentage of the Indian population is Muslim. This population does not share the sentiments of the majority Hindu populace who view the cow as sacred and killing the innocent and productive animal as a cross sin and waste regarding meat consumption. Of this group, about 95 percentage live below the poverty line. In India, the Muslim community is typically more poor, less educated and more likely to have violent crimes perpetrated against them than even allegedly. The lower caste Hindus who share a ripe history of violent atrocities committed against them by supposedly higher caste Hindus, when a source of food is cut off from population is in dire need of resource problems ensure. Eating beef in India is cheaper than going on a vegetarian diet. It also happens to be more nourishing in smaller portions. This means that a poor can eat less and feed fuller. Evidently, this is not enough to convince the Indian federal government to prohibit individual states from <coughs> <coughs> implementing the oppressive beef ban, forcing the individual preference of a segment of the population and to the entire community is not viable public policy, especially for a secular democratic nation. India is a vast country and people living in different parts of the country have different food cuisines. The government should not impose a vegetarian regime or dictate or force food capitals. The non-vegetarians are free to have their own food choice but cannot insist as a matter of right on a particular type of food beef. With regard to the effect of non-vegetarian food on health, the consumers are free to have their own informed choices. Cow productionist emotions depend on value and standards that are ultimately subjective. What is right, sacred and beautiful to one group of people need not be right, sacred and beautiful to another group of people. 
across india minorities and even some hindus eat beef though many states do not permit cow slaughter india's vast tribes and communities have differing and eclectic eating habits and try to try and impose a cookie cutter prototype on them would amount to debriefing them of their fundamental rights to focus on eating habits is to open the floodgates to vigilantes who want to impose their own codes on people the muslims have no taboos about eating beef but this is not permitted in many states where meat sellers in general are facing problems from over jealous vigilantes and the police there is simply nothing in the constitution that prevents someone from eating beef beef was the number one source of protein at all front age sites vegetarianism being a post buddhist phenomenon hindutva ideologies often back up their stand by their either using incorrect statistics and the selector laws are negatively correlated with cow population or pseudo science cow urine and faces do not have special do not have do not have special medicine properties in spite of this cow production movement have gained in strength this is of course simply because cow reference is an article of faith with a large number of hindus and like all matters of religion exist independent of facts but bjp create a suspicion in the minds of many that the ingrained hindu feelings against cow selector is being satisfied by the back door in india you are what you eat and your devotion to strict vegetarianism is a trait common to many upper caste hindus some build their diet like a badge of this their status other demand that people around them like children and household staff members eat as they do to maintain the purity of their kitchens they will not visit restaurants that also serve non vegetarian food for fear of being polluted privileged politicians are imposing their will on under privileged people who do not share their belief and also do not have the luxury of rejecting cheap resource of protein by injecting religion and caste into politics the bjp is preventing india from moving forward by reinforcing the prejudices that have kept it back few years back a grain trader from central india reportedly sent a letter to the union ministry of human resource development expressing his anguish over the dhamasic behavior of students in iit who were practicing non vegetarian administration made separate dining hall for the vegetarians and those students who preferred to be lulled into a state of energia cutrasi of meat onion garlic and the like the letter was reportedly forwarded to the directors of all 16 iits in the country it should not happen like this separate pro veg and non veg canteen but people should respect another person dietary habits sumavmi vivekananda was the opinion that some section of hindus including rishis ate beef or were at least non against beef eating nobody eats beef in the ramakrishna mission but the way they handle a similar problem that of eating fish would prove a perfect case study ramakrishna barma hamsa ate fish and so do most bengalis including the brahmins so fish is cooked and eaten in belur math the headquarters of mission and most other centers in bengal but all centers outside bengal and perhaps bihar are strictly vegetarians in the south even eggs are not served in the ashramam so as to not cut the sentiment of the hindu orthodox for over a century the practice has gone on thus and there has be nev- never been a controversy the buddhist in countries like myanmar and thailand and of course the tibetan buddhist eat meat including beef the godavas of kurk who eat pork do not eat beef because they consider it is anti hindu millions of hindus in kerala also eat beef fry because it becomes a habit one that of course to hindus in northern india 
like it is same throughout India. So, India does not need a national handicap selector law. It does not, does not require laws that determine dietary preference of its citizens. It has other priorities should be, should be addressed such as being the country with the largest malnourished population in the world. In a democracy of varied denominational identities, one cannot expect to convert everyone to an owns own dietary habits. There are pro and anti arguments about human beings being either herbivorous or carnivorous or omnivorous by nature. Be that as it may, I buy the omnivorous theory, but I will never enforce it on others, especially if it involves a dissent. The tendency to enforce one's belief regarding personal dietary habits on others incite violence. People are predisposed to peace and harmony irrespective of religion, caste or creed in India. But also there is no denying that selfish interests which stand to profit from divisiveness in a plural society have always fomented strife and disharmony. By the ban of cow selector, government intend to criminalize food cultures and livelihoods. In this case, beef and its connected livelihoods and by doing so criminalize entire communities comprising 50 percentage of India's population. Bible talks about freedom on food habits. Deuteronomy chapter 12 verse 20 and 21. The Lord your God promised to make your country larger. When he does this, you might live too far from the place the Lord your God chose to be the home for his name. If it is too far, you are hungry for meat, you may eat any meat you have. You may kill any animal from the herd or flock that he has given you. Do this the way I have commanded you. You may eat this meat there where you live any time you want. 